Home and Design, and today we're putting together a bouquet for Mother's Day. I'm no expert at this, but I think it's really fun and I just kind of wanted to share it with you. So I usually like to start with the flower that I have the most of, um, and on this bouquet I have a lot of these pretty pink roses. Um, I usually tear off the leaves at the bottom half just so the bouquet doesn't end up with too many greens. Um, and I've always heard cut at an angle. I think it uh, absorbs the most water. Um, again, I'm no expert, but that's what I do. So I kind of just start to lay them in there, um, and it doesn't really have much of a shape for a while, but once I get them, get it filled up, then I can start playing with the shape. So I like um, the flowers to have different heights. I think it adds a lot of visual interest to a bouquet. Um, so I usually start and put a handful of them at one height, and then I'll do some that are a little bit shorter and then some that are a little bit taller. I love adding berries to a bouquet. I think they're just so fun. They add a lot of interest and texture um, and even a fun pop of color. I love having reds and pinks together. I think it's such a pretty color combination. So I'll turn it around real fast. The bouquet is coming together. Um, it's got a lot of interest, a lot of fun color. I have these ranunculas, which are my absolute favorite flower. They always have such funky stems, and I just think they make a bouquet so fun. But I don't even really like to trim them. I love to just keep them long and let them um, just kind of hang over. And now that I'm towards the end of the bouquet, I'm going back to the flower that I started with, which is the rose. Um, and I'm just kind of filling in where I feel like it needs that color. So one thing that I used to do when I first started making bouquets is that I would trim all of the flowers. At the beginning, they usually were about the same length. Um, but don't do that because if you do it as you go, then it gives you flexibility with adjusting um, and having different heights, which just adds a lot of visual interest to a bouquet. the bouquet I felt like it needed a little bit more um, so I went and got these tiny little roses I think they're really cute and fun and then just something like this for a little bit more visual interest and height um, and so I've been kind of adding them in it's starting to really fill in and come together and I know um, you know this post is for Mother's Day and Mother's Day can be a difficult um, day for a lot of people and so this could be a great gift to give just someone influential in your life or a grandma or um, just anyone who really impacted you. And this is the finished bouquet. Happy Mother's Day.